Hi, and welcome to my residential real estate market update for Edmonton and Shura Park. Well, we are halfway through 2019. Are you interested to see how our market did compared to last year? Well, that's what this video is about, so let's dive in. Well, it's mid-year review time. Welcome to my residential real estate market update for Edmonton and Shura Park mid-year review. I'm Jen McPhillamy, real estate associate and realtor with Yeg Pro Realty. So in this mid-year review, we're gonna look at both single family detached homes and condos in both Edmonton and Sherwood Park. What we're gonna look at is the average days on market compared to last year in the first half of this year, your chance of selling this year compared to last year, and inventory versus sales, which you might know as homes for sale versus what is sold. So first up, average days on market. So the average days on market for Edmonton for single family detached homes was pretty close to 2018. We trended downwards towards the, and flattened out towards the spring with both the single family detached homes and condos. In Sherwood Park, the average days on market was much higher at the beginning of the year than it was the year before. But it's been a wacky spring for both condos and single family detached homes. The good thing is single family detached homes has flattened out. And for condos, the average days on market actually fell in April and May compared to last year. So as we head into the second part of 2019, it wouldn't be a surprise to see the average days on market increases is what it historically does. However, as you'll see coming up, things are changing. So we may see a flatter line this year than we saw last year. Okay, so on to the chance of selling. That's your absorption rate. First, let's talk about single family detached homes. So in Edmonton, your chance of selling finally caught up to last year in May and June. So in Edmonton, with a better chance of selling, though we're still hovering around that 20% chance of selling mark. For single family detached homes in Shura Park, it was our rough start. With the biggest spread being in March, so March 2018 versus March 2019. Though things changed drastically in April, and it continued to improve compared to last year. And now we're above the 30% chance of selling. So just to recap, when you're, you're in a buyer's market, when you're less than 30% chance of selling and you start to see a balanced market when your 30% chance of selling are greater. So Edmonton as a whole, though it's close, we're still in a buyer's market. And Shore Park seems solidly in a balanced market. Just remember though, Edmonton's a big city and it's quite segmented. So depending on your neighborhood, you could be a balanced market or a seller's market in Edmonton. So on to condos for your chance of selling. In Edmonton, it's pretty much on par for 2018 in the first quarter. In the second quarter, we see a spike in May and then continue to outpace the numbers from 2018. Though the chance of selling is still low at around 14%. So that means even though things are improving in the Edmonton condo market, we're still in a buyer's market. And surprisingly, it's a whole different story in Shura Park for condos. Your chance of selling your condo in Shura Park outpaced 2018 numbers in all months except March. And the crazy thing about it is it continues to improve. So in Shura Park, your chance of selling is hovering around 29%. That's essentially a balanced market. So lastly, we're gonna look at inventory versus sales. That's homes for sale versus what has sold. So for single family detached homes in Edmonton, inventory was high compared to 2018 in the first quarter, though it didn't seem to dampen demand as one would expect. By April, sales, or homes sold, started outpacing the 2018 numbers. And in May, we started seeing the inventory flatten. So it's starting to look like more buyers are having less choices. It may be a little early, but it's indicating a shift in the market. So single family detached homes in Sherwood Park. There was a huge spike of inventory in March in Sherwood Park, which looks like it may have dampened the sales. They're quite low in March. However, in April, they nearly doubled. Then in May, we saw inventory down and sales up. If demand continues to remain constant and inventory continues to decrease, Sherwood Park may feel more like a seller's market before we know it. Okay, so for condos, inventory versus sales. That's homes for sale versus what's sold. 
So in Edmonton, you may be surprised, but the resale condo inventory is down from 2018, which may be why we saw an increase in sales in May. But just like with single family homes, inventory is flattening and demand is consistent. In Shira Park, inventory is down and continues to decrease. Meanwhile, sales are increasing. This is probably directly attributed to that improved chance of selling a condo in Shira Park that we saw earlier. So to sum it up, as I have said before, if you're looking to buy but waiting for a deal, wait no longer. Now is your time to get in the market. Interest rates are low, prices are still decent. If you live in Shira Park, you may have missed your opportunity for that great deal as we see the market shifting there ahead of Edmonton. Still, both markets are not yet quite a seller's market. We're just entering into the balanced market territory. Also, average home prices are slightly down. So whatever you buy and whether it's in Edmonton or Shura Park, you'll still likely get it for a decent price compared to what people were buying for a few years ago. So anyway, let's continue to watch the residential real estate market for 2019. I really think it's gonna be an interesting one. So as always, for all you stat junkies, see below for the download links for the market reports period ending June 30th, 2019. I hope you find this information valuable. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I love talking about stats. And remember, every one of my clients has a unique personal and financial circumstance. And I'm always available to meet with you to customize a strategy to get you where you need to be. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.